Hi, Todd here from Urban Sound Studio. In this third video on the ARP Odyssey, we are going to explore the filters, which is the defining characteristic of subtractive synthesis. First off is the high pass cutoff. This removes low end rumble. The trick is to thicken up a lead with way too much bass to fatten the sound, but then cut it with the high pass filter. To the left is the resonant low pass filter. Korg includes all three revisions. Revision 1 is a 12 dB per octave 4023 filter that is gentle and similar to the Oberheim filter. The resonance emphasizes frequencies around the cutoff frequency and adds a singing type quality to the filter. Rev2 is a 24 dB per octave, 4035, similar to the Moog filter. Rev3 is a 24 dB per octave 4075 filter that became known as the ARP filter with its own high resonant quality. Here's Rev2 again. Here is Rev1 again. And that was Rev3 at the end. And of course, the filter can also be modulated. First up, you could set the amount the keyboard CV affects the filter. This is especially noticeable with high resonance, as you can actually play the filter. Turn up one of your oscillators, and you could even tune the filter to be a separate sine wave source. Turn down the keyboard CV, and the filter pitch will remain on only one frequency. Full keyboard CV adds an openness to the higher notes. Flipping the switch down allows you to modulate the filter with the sample and hold mixer, or you can even plug in an external pedal to use like a wah pedal. The next slider uses the entire sample and hold section as a modulation source, 
or when flipped down, allows you to use the LFO. And last, the ADSR can be selected to modulate the filter. You can also use the AR and reserve the ADSR for the amplifier. A long attack with a low starting frequency and high resonance will create an evolving, swelling sound in the filter. Make sure to check out the fourth video in the series where we take a look at how to tie all these techniques together for more advanced sound design and performance.